Willie, how you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good, partner on your shark. I'm I'm awesome. My name is Pace. I'm out of Phoenix. And um, the reason why you and I are on a phone call is because I hear that you've got a storage unit that you got, you're going to be potentially carrying a part of the note to a, a, another potential buyer? Uh, possibly, yes. Amazing. So I buy most of my storage units and my apartment buildings all on seller finance. And so that's why they wrote me in here. Is there a specific number that would make sense for you guys if you guys carried an, a part of the note for us, if we came up to a certain purchase price to entice you to carry a part of the note? The, the, the guy that uh, gave it to me before, yeah, he uh, offered me $300,000. $300,000 down? Down, and then he would carry the note. You, or I would carry the note. I'm sorry. I would carry the note. Oh, I can do, I, I can do way better than that. At first, I thought that wasn't a bad deal, and then I found out that for me to get, the, to get this thing back would cost me well over $300,000 just to get it back. So, what if, um, what if I, I gave you What if I gave you a million dollars down? Million down. Yeah, I'll give you a million down. And I'll, and I'll carry the 1.2 million? Yeah, you'll carry the 1.2 million. The way I do it usually with my other sellers is that they'll carry the second position for, let's say, 12, sometimes 36 months with no payments because I give such a large down payment. And then in 36 months, I just refinance them all the way out and they get the other portion. I don't want that. I'll tell you that right now. What do you want? I want a monthly payment coming in. Okay. What would you want on the 1.2? Uh, I would want probably five, 6% interest. Okay. And would you, how long would you carry that note? Would you carry it for a longer term? If I, if I just make you a monthly payment? Yeah, I would consider it. All right. Uh, the, the advantage there is that you're not going to get hit with a big tax liability with all that money coming at you at one time, which would be a good advantage for you tax wise. I understand that. I understand that. Uh, how serious are you? I'm dead serious. I'll put I'll put you and my team together in an email. I'll I will definitely take it. Well, I'll put ink to paper. The reason why I'm asking uh -huh. is because I want I uh, I want my lawyer to uh, hear this. I would I, I would love your lawyer to actually draft the agreement. Yeah, you guys can put all the paperwork together and I'll sign whatever it is. Okay. Uh, are you going to pay for part of the lawyer fees? I'll pay for all the lawyer fees. I mean, it, it, are, we wouldn't close through them, right? We would close through a title company. Well, I'll, that's where my lawyer will come in at. I'll have him see what he, because I know when I bought my units, I uh, went through the lawyer and we drew it all up through him. We didn't go through a title company. Yeah, I don't mind. We can go through him. I, what I find with all my seller finance deals is it's easier just to go through your attorney with his paperwork because what happens is if I, if I send over my paperwork, the first thing your attorney is going to do is beat up my attorney's paperwork because they got to justify their paycheck. So it's easier for your attorney just to do all the paperwork the way he wants to protect you and put you in a powerful position. Okay. Uh, I will try to call my attorney. Come on. I can't now. It's too late. Yeah, that's fine. We, we can get on a call tomorrow. Can you text me your phone number, your name, your phone number? Yep. And I will give it to my attorney. Yep tomorrow and see what he, uh, see if he's available this week. Sounds great. So how does that sound? Does that sound fair enough? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. And, uh, and I'll go ahead and I will split the, I said between five and six, I'll go five and a half percent. Cause you know, interest rates are going up like mad. Well, I don't know. I don't know what that payment would mean. So I got What I have to do is I have to look, well, here's the thing about interest rates. You and I both know this. They're, they're going to trend back down. They're just doing this to offset the, crazy market that we're in. They're going to, they'll go back down. So I don't mind paying well, five and a half percent. I just got to make sure I can cash flow. That's it. Right. I understand. Cause you don't, you don't want to carry a note on a non-cash flowing asset. You know, let me ask you this. Yes, sir. Why are, why are you, uh, have you seen my property on the internet? Yes, I have. Okay. All right. Uh, that's the reason why I'm asking. Uh, I will go ahead and, uh, I will get with my attorney Okay. and, uh, see what he says about it and see if he's willing to draw it up. Perfect. And I don't, I don't mind showing, I don't show, mind showing you guys a balance sheet, net worth statement, all, all of my uh, credentials, my real estate owned um, sheet, everything you guys need to see just to see that I'm a credible buyer. No, no, I, I, you know, I'll be real honest with you. Uh, you probably wouldn't be talking to me if you wasn't. And that's just the way I am. Uh, you know, you, we don't know each other from Adam. Let's face it. <laughs> that's true. So, and I'll be real honest with you. Uh, 
I'm not that worried about it one way or the other if we close or if we don't close because I'm in a position where uh, I'll just continue operating the way I am and I've been doing very well for the last 20 years. Love it. People always ask me this. They always say, how do you buy houses and properties and multifamily and storage on seller finance? And I go, because the people who own these properties are pretty well off. Like they totally are fine. They don't need the money. They're living a great life. So I totally get it. Yep. Okay. Uh, I will go ahead and I will get with my attorney tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And if you text me your phone number and your name, and I will give that also to him. And then I'll give you a call back. Love it. Okay. Thank I you, sir. Will, uh, get with tomorrow. Appreciate you. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Right. Dude, he literally said on the first call, I'm not interested in financing anything. I, I'm telling you, dude, so many wholesalers just don't get it. It's like people go, but my seller didn't tell me they were interested in creative finance. I'm like, dude, have two more phone calls with them. You, they don't. Here, when a seller says they're not open to creative finance, that what they're really saying, well, here's a great question, okay? When somebody says that they don't like ice cream, do you know what they're really saying? What? They're really saying I'm, a, I'm lactose intolerant because nobody has a problem with ice cream. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So really that's what, when people are saying like, I'm afraid of creative finance or whatever else, or I'm not interested in seller finance, it, they're just saying they don't trust you. So when somebody says, man, well, how do you talk to an agent or how do you talk to a seller? And I go with God-like confidence. And so when I talk to a seller, I have such strong confidence and I've done it so much that the, I, I can get a seller to tell me in two seconds how much he's caring for the other party to the point where we can just work out a deal in less than 30 seconds. And it, it's, it's confidence and just knowing what to say, right? So it's honestly one of the most frustrating things to hear when people say, oh, the seller's not interested. I'm like, gosh, dang it, just get me on the phone, you know? That's what he just did. It's like, wait, you talk to this guy? He's like, let's get him on the phone. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Pace. Um, so here, here's what this is. Here's what kind of deal this is, okay? Because normally a million dollars down on um, anything is not a good deal. However, I've been utilizing a strategy I created about a year and a half ago. It's called the Morby Method, okay? So what I do is I go to my lender, Marcus and Millichap. A lot of your guys' as buyers, when you guys are wholesaling a, um, you know, storage units, you guys, your buyers are using Marcus and Millichap a lot for their purchases. So I go to Marcus and Millichap, they give me a 50% loan to value loan for the million dollars, okay? And then the seller carries the other 50%. So I literally can get into the storage unit for $0 out of my pocket. Like it, this is a great deal for us. I don't know the address. I don't know the income. I don't know any of that stuff. So like assuming it's all, all that's good, getting into a deal like this with no money out of your pocket is what I do. Awesome. Love it. So what I, here, here's the process of a Morby method on a storage unit. I go to Marcus and Millichap. I've got a guy named James. Um, I'll email you with James and I'll say, hey, James, I'm looking at buying this deal. I need to know how much money you can give me as a loan. He will ask you a handful of questions. Maybe you'll have to go back and ask the seller for a couple of questions. In about seven days, I'll, I'll know exactly how much money Marcus and Millichap will approve me for, probably a million or a million dollars or more. And then we can go back to the seller and say, hey seller, we've been approved for $1.2 million. That means we just need you to carry the other million. And really there's nothing to negotiate with the seller until I know what my term sheet is from Marcus and Millichap, but I didn't want to tell him that on a phone call because it would trip up the flow of the conversation. Right. So, but I'll tell that to his attorney and I'll tell the attorney, hey, this is what I intend to do. This is how I'm doing it. So really we don't know the terms of what I need him to carry until I know what Marcus and Millichap is going to get me. And so we just stay in the conversation for about a week. Marcus and Millichap comes back to me. They say exactly what they're willing to do. We send it over to the attorney and the attorney drafts up the paperwork and we close in 45 days. Okay. And this is, this is how you can go buy an entire like storage unit empire with no money out of your pocket. Right. Wow. There's a reason why people ask me to speak on stage. <laughs> so guys, you heard it right there. I just got a phone call from a gentleman. Actually, his name is Alex Christian. He was referred to me by Britt. On Instagram, her name is Investor Girl Britt. She says, hey, Pace, Alex has some questions about a deal. And in two minutes on the phone call, I go, just get me on the phone with the seller. And so that was a phone call with a seller working out a Morby method on a storage unit facility. You see how easy it is to get these things under contract. Later.